नमस्कार वेलकम एंड सुस्वागतम टू अनादर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन प्रोजेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन बाय साउथ सेंट्रल जोन कल्चरल सेंटर नागपुर दैट इज एस सी जेड सी सी दिस टाइम वी हैव फोकस्ड ऑन द मेकिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड रिनाउंड चेरियल मास्क ए ब्रीफ अबाउट देअर हिस्ट्री एंड डिटेल्स ऑन हाउ दे आर मेड द बिगर मास्क आर यूज इन स्टोरी टेलिंग परफॉर्मसेस वाइल द स्मॉलर वर्जन्स एड ऑन द वॉल्स वर्ल्ड ओवर फ्रेंड्स मेकिंग ऑफ आवर ट्रेडिशनल इंडिजिनस मास्क एंड ऑल्सो एडॉप्टिंग चेंजेस टू सूट करंट डिमांड्स इज सर्टनली ए वे फॉरवर्ड फॉर रियलाइजिंग द गोल ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत आवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र जी मोदी हैज लेड स्पेशल इम्फेसिस ऑन इनकरेजिंग द मेड इन इंडिया टॉइज एंड डॉल्स दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज एन एफर्ट towards that great vision myself and my team hope you would appreciate the art form and help spread the information about it thank you so much jai hind a unique idol of ganesha mesmerizing and breathtakingly beautiful this exquisitely carved mandapam at an ancient shiva temple barely 60 kilometers from cheriyal town in telangana state inspired by the ancient wisdom from the scriptures created by unknown artists who breathed their art passed on by generation and known for the simple yet rich content high on moral values these locations reaffirm india's place as the capital of the world's most ancient heritage look at these roof paintings in lipakshi temples the paintings on the wall of virupaksha temple in hampi hundreds and thousand years later these paintings are visible even today to testify about the glorious era of ancient traditional paintings and the generation of artists who made them possible Today in a different time the tradition continues to amuse enthrall entertain and yet educate by imbibing human values This is about a village in Telangana's Siddipet district Cheria It has carved its identity internationally with the unique masks that it creates the cherial masks This town has gained international recognition and prominence for handcrafted traditional masks beautifully designed with aesthetic qualities in bright hues depicting characters from the ancient Bharatiya scriptures 
These world famous masks are used as artifacts in religious ceremonies or also to adorn walls for decorative purposes. These are created by artists hailing from communities that have adopted to changing times to ensure survival of themselves and their art. 46 years old, Pasula Malesam and his wife Pasula Manga are no common couple but a celebrated family of first generation mask makers among a few hundred families that have managed to keep the ancient tradition alive. A school dropout son of a daily wage earner, Malesam is no less a celebrity in his own right thanks to the art. The couple have received awards in India and even abroad in nations like Mexico, Peru, Malesham shares. I was born in the first time. 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 There are also some first generation artisans like me who have learned the art of mask making from a guru or from workshops organized by government agencies. Earlier, right since the ancient times, the art forms like folk painting, wood carving or rock sculpting had kept thriving under royal patronage. However, the foreign invasions had their effect not only on the creations but also on the creators, the artisans. As the royal patronage diminished, the artisans took to storytelling to seek the patronage of the society. They had to rediscover their art forms to make out a living and shifted to making masks that could be sold. The town of Chiriyal came to be identified with this shift to commercial mask making and painting. Another Chiriyal artist in his 40s, Nagarla Ganesh elaborates. The artisans who did traditional paintings on temples and palace walls had only their art to fall back on or to survive. They searched their roots in the ancient Indian texts like Ramayana, Mahabharata, Krishna Leela, etc. Identified the characters and switched to the art of storytelling through songs and dances. They began visiting towns and villages, narrating stories from ancient Bharatiya texts. Also performing acts wearing relevant character masks created by themselves. Even today, such night-long presentations go on for a week or for a longer period of two months. The villagers show their hospitality and reward them suitably. Estimated four to five hundred families have identified town and cities in the states of Telangana and Andhra among them and kept this tradition alive. The Chiriyal style bigger masks can be worn and are used for such performances while the smaller ones are used to decorate walls. Highlighting the community's contribution towards the society, Malesam says, a set of masks is created on about 25 characters from the text for such acts. The masks and idols are specifically created and are specially kept during the performances without attaching disproportionate significance to materialistic gains the artisans have done much more passed on by generations to generations the local Bharat communities have also carried on successfully preserving information like lineages of different caste groups and so on through the art of storytelling 
Malisam's wife Pasula Manga tells how she was taught the art by her husband and later they trained their daughters. ఇక్కడ చేరేయాలనుకు మ్యారేజ్ అయ్యింది మ్యారేజ్ తర్వాత నేను నేర్చుకున్నాను మా హస్బెండ్ దగ్గర ఆయన ఇదే ఈ ఇదే పని చేస్తాడు కాబట్టి ఈ కళ మీద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ తోని ఇది బా ఇది మాతోనే కాకుండా ఇంకా she adds we have trained other kids as well without any remuneration we continue to train those who are willing ganesha's wife nagarla varda hails from a family of bd workers from maharashtra and after her marriage her mother in law wanted her to continue to financially support the family ara sasuna bola she tells us ke wo painting ka ek ban raha bana raha hai ye bd banao wo ghar mein chalega wo ganesh पेंटिंग बनाएगा मत ये गणेश ने बोला नहीं बीड़ी मत बनाओ पे ये पेंटिंग बनाओ मुकाटा बनाओ ऐसा गणेश ने बताया मेरे को वो मैं तब पास ये पेंटिंग बनाया और मुकाटा बनाया स्टार्ट किया माय मदर इन लॉ इंसिस्टेड आई शुड कंटिन्यू रोलिंग बीडीज बट आई वाज अट्रैक्टेड टू व्हाट माय हस्बैंड डिड एज एन आर्टिस्ट एंड यूज्ड टू ऑब्जर्व हिम 5 इयर्स आफ्टर मैरिज I once brought soil and made a cast. Then I wrapped it in paper and applied the tamarind paste. Two days later, I carved the nose, mouth and the eyes. My husband liked it instantly, encouraged me and began training me. I have myself trained 20 students in government organized workshops in the last 15 years and I'm now training my daughters. the making of a cheerial mask tamarind is a known medicinal plant that is great for health it also plays a major role in the making process of cheerial masks let's see how material used The list of materials required to make a cheerial mask includes natural eco-friendly materials like the tamarind seeds, smooth earthen soil, glue from trees or cirrus, boiled rice powder, boiled sago or sabudana water, white dolmite powder, a cotton fabric, a paper and sawdust powder etc. The process The material used for mask making and doll making are very simple and available locally. Usually, natural materials are preferred over artificial ones. This process of making cheerial masks and dolls involves prominent stages like preparing the paste. The tamarind seeds are first broken into smaller pieces. Most of these pieces are taken in a grindstone and grinded using small quantity of water. The liquid thus prepared is mixed with water and boiled to make a thick sticky paste.
Later, some of the unused tamarind pieces are further grinded into fine powder. This powder is added into the thick tamarind paste and it is allowed to solidify to a certain extent into a stretchable mass. Sculpting a cast Two or three types of soil is collected. These include coarse sand like soil and the available varieties of smooth soil. These are mixed together with water and then natural glue is added to render an adhesive like effect. A figurine of choice is selected and earth soil is used to give a crude form. The earthen cast is made by hands as per the figurine's perceived size and shape. The cast is given finishing touches and kept to dry generally for two days. The dried cast is wrapped in a paper. Plastering the fine and thick mass gained from the mixture of tamarind seed paste and sawdust is now carefully applied over the base form along with the paper. This is done carefully and uniformly. The surface is pressed evenly all over to realize a uniform layer. Once it is ensured that the mass is applied uniformly, it is kept to dry under the normal sun for about one and a half day. The now dried shape of the mass is slowly and gently taken off the earthen cast. This stage of the mask making process is particularly tricky as under the sun the shape develops a few cracks here and there. Hence it is taken off carefully along with the piece of paper stuck inside. Again, the paste is applied and some amount of glue on these cracks. Once the cracks disappear, it is considered to have been repaired. Detailing
After the shape has no visible cracks on it and is finely dry, details like protruding eyes, nicely carved eyebrows, nose, mouth structure with the right kind of lips are made besides their facial features. Sometimes, cotton strips are also layered on the figurine for some detailing. Once the detailing is done satisfactorily, it is time again for the raw mask to dry. The whole lot of detailing does not take more than 6 or 8 hours to dry. Smoothening To further smoothen the surfaces, the raw mask is then gently rubbed against a rough paper using swift movements by fingers. Rice water and glue is also applied evenly on the entire surface. Sometimes even liquid lime and chalk powder paste are coated to smoothen the surface. The smoothing is not over yet. A thin cotton fabric is stuck evenly on this surface and a paste of glue, rice powder and dolomite powder is applied on both the sides. It takes a few days to dry further. Now it's time to apply Sago or Sabudana water on the mask to give it that shining look. It's again allowed to dry.
coloring. After the sabudana water or base color is applied on this, the initial mask making is considered to be over and the newly made mask is ready to be colored using either natural or artificial colors. Color Ravan and Teva in the day, Pudu Time on the Malisam says earlier only natural found eco friendly colors were used. Nowadays, artificial colors are also used. Though the fact remains that the natural colors last longer, as it is evident from the paintings which are several centuries old. The natural colors appear more fresh and vibrant. They also provide fragrance and are not harmful to human health. It has been observed that even insects keep away from these colors. Unlike the natural ones, the artificial colors fade easily with time. बाहर लाके हमारा गुरु ये तीनों मिलके लाके वो गम से ये कलर बहुत तेज रहता है झाड़ का गम है ना सर वो कलर से तेज कलर करता है सब वो पूरा बाह पहाड़ का ऊपर दुकान उसी टाइम में दुकान कोई नहीं सर दुकान का ऊपर कोई विश्वास नहीं था सर नागरला गणेश laments the fact that the forests have seemingly moved away from the ever expanding human habitats. With the growing deforestation due to rampant tree cutting, the availability of a variety of flowers and leaves has been affected. Those available are more expensive and hence out of reach for the common artisans. Despite all this, the natural sources of the colors are not totally out of reach. Yellow marigold flowers called Genda Fool in Hindi are used for obtaining the fresh and natural yellow. The petals are separated from the marigold flowers and grinded repeatedly in grindstone. Some small quantity of water is periodically poured. The juice of the petals is filtered using a clean cloth. The orange colored marigold petals are similarly used to obtain orange color. Red color is obtained by finely grinding red rose petals in the grindstone. Green color is procured through a similar grinding of fresh bright green leaves. Nagarla Ganesh delves deeper on how natural colors are procured and used. Indigo blue is gained from stones or herbs. White is made available using coral substances. Three or four colors like brown and black can be obtained using some stones. Addition of glue to these natural colors enhances its longevity and shine. Masks of some specific characters are painted in particular colors, for example, blue for Ram, rose color for Lakshman, yellow for Sita, and green for Hanuman. Using appropriate colors, the detailing such as eyes, limbs, and the other accessories are intrinsically painted. Sometimes, a coat of varnish is applied for rendering a glossy look. Scroll painting. In the past, these artisans were also referred to as Nakash who also painted the temple walls. Palace or house walls and compound walls. They also had mastered the world-renowned Asian art of scroll painting. These paintings on scrolls can be transported easily and mounted on any desired surface. कहाँ नहीं कि ऊपर करता था painting पूरा बड़ा बड़ा 30 meter 40 meter वैसा कहाँ नहीं कि ऊपर painting बनाते 
इसमें नौ पुराना हमारा तेलंगाना में बनता है रामायण कृष्णलीला महाभारत भागवत शिवपुराणम मारकंड नागरला गणेश नेम्स इंडियन स्क्रिप्चर्स लाइक रामायण महाभारत कृष्णलीला भगवता शिव पुराना मारकंडे पुराना गुरुड़ पुराना आदि पुराना एक्सेट्रा एज द सोर्सेस फॉर स्टोरीज डिपिक्टेड इन दी स्क्रोल्स द कैनवस इज अ हैंडलूम क्लोथ ट्रीटेड विद गम एंड चौक बिफोर ड्राइंग द कलर यूज आर पाउडर कलर मिक्सड विथ वॉटर और विथ क्लियर वॉर्निश एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट The scroll is planned as per the number of scenes to be depicted. Mostly maroon color is used for background white red. Yellow, green and blue colors are predominantly used for the characters and other details of the depictions in the paintings. The characters in the paintings are suitably painted in Deccan style according to their nature. Gods are depicted using blue or green. Goddesses with yellow and black color for the asuras. These paintings are given frame-like appearance using thick borders with only floral design in yellow. With the advent of television, internet and social media, Besides the increasing globalization the technological advancements have replaced the traditional indian art form of storytelling through artifacts dances or dramas consequently the world known custom of passing down epics and folklores from one generation to another is slowly dying but the efforts are on to continue the transfer of the art form to the next generations i feel very happy my father and mother is the artist i am also to become the big artist malisam's daughter monica and akila say while working on new mask and scroll paintings they feel a sense of pride and duty at the same time మల్లేసం సేస్ గురు దగ్గర నేర్చుకున్నాను ఈ కళ ఎందుకంటే చాలా బాగున్నదని నేర్చుకున్నాను ఇంకోటి ఏంటంటే ఇది ఐ టెల్ మై స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ మై డాటర్స్ దట్ నోబడి షుడ్ లెర్న్ దిస్ ఆర్ట్ ఫర్ ద సేక్ ఆఫ్ అర్నింగ్ మనీ ఆర్ ఫేమ్ సచ్ మోటివేషన్ జస్ట్ కెన్ నాట్ సక్సీడ్ నాగర్ల గణేష్ ఎలాబరేట్స్ ఫర్దర్ వెన్ హి సేస్ సిక్నా హై తో దిల్ సే సిక్నా హై అపనా మన్ సే సిక్నా హై पैसे से नहीं सीखना है सर पैसा ये कला में हम पैसा कमाएंगे बोल के नहीं सीखना है सर वैसा आदमी इसको नहीं नहीं सीखेगा वो प्रेम से सीखेंगे तो वो सीख जाएगा ये कला का कारण क्या है सर ये कला सीख करते ही रहता है कला अपन करना कला में सब लोगों को इतना टेस्ट नहीं रहता है ये कला में देखने वाला क्या है बोलता है और कला मालूम होने वाला वो उसको वाह करता है उस वैसा है और ये कला जीवन में कितना तकलीफ देता है उतना तकलीफ देता है अभी जो हम सीखा है कला में हमारा पीरियड में हमारा गुरु का पास हम सीखा है हमारा गुरु जी ने गुरु जी ने भी यू जस्ट कैन नॉट लर्न दिस आर्ट फॉर अर्निंग बिग कैश यू कैन लर्न इट इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ पायस गोल to dedicate your life to and to earn immense satisfaction because life of an artisan is not easy and cozy it's a mission full of uncertainties yet the journey cannot be left in the midway however as the bhagavad gita says it's only the change which is constant Have a look at these new designer chirial masks keychains pen and mobile phone stands are some of the new artifacts indicating that the history is repeating itself
post covid 19 pandemic this serial scroll painting showing traditional characters wearing masks as depicted by pasula malisam is the latest sign that artists are again rediscovering their art forms to suit the changing times 